Hello, I'm back with another FM DNA tactic. I got left a comment that's on your screen now wanting a Barcelona tactic. I take it they wanted a Zabi Barcelona tactic because that's what I've created today for you and it's it's good. So you definitely want to try it out and let me know how you get on with it. Enough talking, let's get to the tactic. And it's on your screen now and I am playing on version 23.5, no custom database here. Uh, on your screen now will be where I got my information from, Xavi's 4-3-3 system. It's a tick attacker base possession. Fullbacks will invert wingers or central midfielders wide and vice versa. They work the wide areas to look to create overloads. Uh, the several players are drifting over to one side. The idea behind this would be to either outnumber the opposition on the other side to switch play over. Right, I'm glad we've got that. So, with that, Got inside forwards on the wing sides and I've got central midfielders to get forward and move into the channels trying to copy the style of play and that's the same for the other central midfield on the other right hand side and we've got inverted wing backs to cut inside so hopefully it's a possession based tactic uh, we are mentality positive because you're Barcelona in FM really balance seems to be the way forward but we're going to be positive but Barcelona, like I said, I am going to test it with four teams. I will get to through that in a second. So like I said, look, possession-based, positive. Central midfield is going to the wider areas to overload the left-hand side and the right -hand side to switch play over. Hopefully, this is correct. And I've also got a little corner routine on it as well, my little far post corner routine. And also, you've got to sprinkle a little FM magic on it just to get the best out of it. There's no point giving you exactly how this tactical style works or plays if it doesn't do very well in FM. So it's got to do, just like weighing it up, it's got to do both. It's got to play like Xavier's uh, uh, tactic and it's also got to work in FM, if that makes any sense. I hope it does. So like I say, a little FM magic on it. So we're going to test it with four teams, obviously Barcelona and Benfica because I can't create a tactic without testing it with Benfica and AC Milan because I feel I haven't worn the shirt enough and Charlton from Skybet League One to give this tactic a proper test in the lower leagues. And that is where we're going to start off. So with Charlton, we did win the league six points clear uh, of Ipswich, 98 points. We won 30, drew eight, lost eight, goals difference of 43 and a points tell of 98. Like I said, really, really good. FA Cup got knocked out against Man City, but we are a Skybet League One team, uh, second round of the Carver Cup against QPR. And the Papa John's Trophy, check this out. We got to the final and we lost against Chelsea under 21s 3-0, which is unlucky, but they had Maduke in their um in their team. That seems uh, a little bit, that seems a lot unfair. Uh, so sadly, we could only finish run up in this competition. When I look at some of the stats, how we got on though, most points we go, we got a 2.13. Most goals, top of 83. Most shots for, top of 907. Over 200 clear. Fewer shots against, top here of 374. Most dribbles made, top here with 977. And not too bad defensive as well. We only can see in 40 for the season. So with Charlton in the lower leagues, this tactic works. We've got 98 points. Charlton are champions of Skybet League 1. That's it with Charlton. Let's get on to our next team, Benfica. We are champions, but it was very, very close. As you can see on the screen, it's 83 apiece. We've got a better goal difference. We won 26, drew 5, lost 3, goal in 65, and a points tally of 83. We do have the top goal score in the league, 34 goals. In the second place, he's only got 18 goals, and he's also the best player in the league with a 7.68. I'm going to start with the Champions League rather than look at the other cups first. We qualified in the group stage, a group that had Man City, Celtic and Juve. We finished second in the group with 10 points. It was a really, really tough group. And then in the knockout rounds, we lost in the round of 16 against PSG. 8-5 on aggregate. They have got Mbappe and Messi still in their team, which is uh, which is tough. Tough. Benfica, get into the round of 16. I think that's, that's good going. PSG, like I said, they've still got Messi. Version 23.5. It's tough. Very, very tough. But let's take a look at the domestic cups. Starting with the attack of the Portugal, we got knocked out in the sixth round, which is not great. But the Allianz Cup, we won it. We only beat Sporting on penalties in the final. And when we look at some stats, we got most goals of 92. 
Most shots for top here with 678. Fewer shots against second place here with 262. Most possession, fair place here with 58%. Uh, most dribbles made, fair place here, 524, and fewest conceded, joint fair place, conceded 27 for the season. Again, not bad. It was tight. It was very, very tight in the league. So, next up is AC Milan. Well, this one's not close. We're six points clear of Inter in second place. With 88 points, we won 28, drew four, lost six. Golden was a 47, drew right behind Immobile with 22 goals. Rafael Liao with a good average rating of a 7.32. And we've got 19 clean sheets we can see down here. But we really want to look at the cup competitions. How well did this team do domestically first? When a Coppa Italia, we got knocked out in the quarter final against Fiorentina 1 0. Well, we did beat Inter in the EA Sports Super Cup. It took extra time. We beat them 2 0. But it's the big one. It's the main competition other than Serie A. It's the Champions League. How well did we do with AC Milan? Well, it's a bit of a spoiler alert because we played Barcelona in the final of the Champions League and the Barcelona results are going to come up a little bit later. It was so close, the final. Nil-nil. It took penalties. We lost on penalties 5-4. Even possession. 50-50% possession. XG, the same. 1.36 versus 1.36. The same amount of shots on target. Not the same amount of shots, but on target, seven apiece. But as it's a Xavi Barcelona tactic, I suppose we should really let them win it. Right, that's it with uh, AC Milan. Let's check out some of their stats. Well, we're topping of a lot of these. Most goals top again with 77. Most shots for top. Fewer shots against top. Most possession not doing too badly as well. Fifth place with 56%. Most dribbles made top. Fewer conceded. 30. Overall, overall not too bad at all. Like I say, six points clear in the league. Great. Copa Italia was a bit disappointing. <laughs> Champions League, it's okay because it's against Barcelona. So I don't mind taking the loss. So before we get to the Barcelona results, let's run through this tactic just in case you can't download it. So in goal, we've got a sweeper keeper on support. On the left-hand side, we've got inverted wing back on support. On the right-hand side, we've got inverted wing back of support. There will be some add-on instructions. So pause it when need be. We've got a ball playing defender on defend. Alongside another ball playing defender on defend. In front of them, we've got a ball with a field on defend. On the left hand side, we've got a central midfielder support. On the right hand side, we've got a central midfielder on support. On the left hand side, we've got an inside forward attack. On the right hand side, we've got an inside forward attack. Up front, we've got advanced forward attack. Uh, tactical style basically is a custom one, custom possession tactic, but just copy everything here and that will be the tactical style. Uh, mentality positive. In possession, what do we have? Attack and width fairly wide. Approach play, pass in the space. Underlap on the left, underlap on the right. Play out the fence, pass right shorter, tempo higher, time wasting never. Low crosses, run at the fence. In transition, what do we have? We've got counter press, counter, slow the pace down. Dispute to centre back, roll it out. Out of possession, what do we have? High press line of engagement, standard defensive line. Trigger press much more often, prevent short goal distribution, get stuck in, and that is my Barcelona tactics. And now let's get to their results. Starting with the league, and the league was like the Benfica one, really, really close. It doesn't go on goal difference, it goes on head to head, and our head to head against Real Madrid is much better. Uh, 95 apiece, thankfully, it's much better because they had a better goal difference than us. We drew five, we only lost three games though, 4 um, 1. Against Raya, uh, not great. Valencia 2 0, not great either. Uh, Lewandowski's top goal scorer in the league, the best performer in the league as well. Second place for clean sheets. Lewandowski played with the match awards. That's all great, but let's check a look at the cups. In the Copa de Rey, I don't know what to say. I don't know what happened. We lost against Tenerife 1 0 in the fourth round. But don't worry about because no one cares about that competition anyway. Actually, I care. I wanted a clean sweep. We did win the Supercopa de España. 2-0 uh, in the final against Valencia. And if we check out the Champions League, even though we already know the result, but it's worth taking another look and talking about it again. We did win at arm penalties against AC Milan and it was very, very close. So let's run over some stats. Obviously, we're top here. Most goals here, though. You can see here, it's a lot of Real Madrid. Which is not what I wanted to see. Uh, Barcelona second place with 92 goals. Most shots for second place. 
fewer shots against second place. Most possession, we're in fifth place here at 57%. So we are got that possession. We've got slow base play down. Most dribbles play, fair place here. Most clean sheets, 19. Real Madrid with 25. They only concede in 19 goals. We concede a 30. Everyone else in the 40s. Just Real Madrid defensively really, really good. Normally, tactic-wise, I would go balanced. I just love a balanced tactic. But it's Barcelona. Like I said at the start of this video, you've got to go positive. You can't uh, make a tactic and it for it being balanced. If I would have put tweaked it a little bit more or put some more FM magic on it, I think I would have went balanced and see what the results would have been. Because I feel we would have done a, a bit better. 95 points. It isn't bad, though. I don't think that's bad at all. Um, thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. And thank you for suggesting making a Barcelona tactic. I appreciate that as well. That is it from me. If you can leave a like on this video and subscribe if you've done already, that would be amazing. And guys, I will see you in the next video. I'll see you then.